Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Blonde Kavala. So, how are you guys still in quarantine? Yes, me too. So, um, one thing that I could do during quarantine is watching drama or movie. But I choose drama. And I choose Turkish drama because I'm learning. So, uh, this is really... Um, I uh, have so much benefit. Um, and I learn a lot just from one drama. And I'm also not watching one, but comparing to another drama. What I want to say is, I want to see how they are talking to each other in every situation. And comparing to another drama, because I want to see if they are talking like that um, in another place. I mean, different people in different cases, different scenario. So maybe this is like who they are, how they talk. Um, because I rarely um, meet, uh, you know, or talk uh, in long time or speak, uh, I mean, to listen enough uh, conversation. Uh, so drama is really a good choice to learn because we can observe, we can, we can see in different kind of situation what they are talking about, how they will react if somebody... Uh, say something and just learn a lot and these are 10 10 things that i noticed from turkish drama or turkish people um having conversation so the first one they will say like this allah allah my country and turkey we have similarities in some parts especially a religion so um we would have words like this you know and this is what i noticed that turkish people always say like allah allah something like this i cannot explain exactly in english about what kind of situation um it's it's hard for me to explain uh, it, it's I, I i don't know how to explain it but they say this a lot and the second one is so if you are learning english or you are speaking english no is the shortest word ever n and o no two letters n and o but turkish people make it shorter they will say no just like just like doing that this is really interesting for me to learn because in my country we don't have this kind of thing um they will like make it really shorter may shortest ever just like a gesture by tongue and by lips so this is really interesting the third one they will say oof oof if they are angry or disturbed like oof and not necessarily angry but they can say this also and they look something amazing in front of them you know they are looking something amazing like oof oof something like really really good and then they also say e Allah. um i didn't know what it means at first but somebody told me that this is like thank you so e Allah kardeşim thank you my brother my brother um, they call each other brother, even if they don't um, maybe sometimes know uh, each other. So, and the fifth one, um, so I, 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 I was talking to my best friend Seville in Turkey about this. I asked her, uh, so there is this word, really cute word. Uh, you, usually, uh, women uh, do this, like, you, you. If something happened and we are, you know, like, just, like, annoyed by it, uh, we will say, you. Maybe in English we can say it like, you, something like this. Um, I don't know, but this this is what Turkish women do. I don't know if it's only women or maybe men also, but um, I noticed only women. You, you. Something like this. This is really cute, by the way. Even though um, my best friend in Turkey, she told me this is not a good word. I mean, it's not um, positive, but more like uh, in negative orientation. So, uh, but it's really cute to hear. You. 
And the next one, ah, baba, ah. So, ah, subject, ah. Ah, baba, ah. Ah, uh, sebil, ah, for example. So, um, this is when somebody, like, really upset. Like, oh, why you do that? Oh, why? Why you do that? Ah, baba, ah, ah, dad, why? Like, ah, dad, ah. Something like this. And the next one is, eh? When two people having conversation, usually they, there will be this like, um, quiet points, uh, you know, where, when, where they will not say anything for just like few minutes. And the other person would, you know, try to continue the conversation by saying, eh? This is like, um, okay, what's next? And then what? Something like this, eh? You know, Turkish people love short words. Uh, in But this is such a contradictory because most of their words are long, usually. So this is interesting. And then um, what I also uh, saw in the drama um, is like um, if somebody come to some places, other people would ask, uh nation var burda what um what kind of business do you have here why do you come here why are you here nation var burda so yeah i see the similarities in this kind of situation and every time this situation happen when somebody else is in some places they will say this to that person what what are you doing here what what kind of business do you have here uh, because literally, ish is like business. Um, it's like work. But um, for this situation, it would be like, um, what are you doing here? Just as simple as that. And Turkish people also, um, they will put m or mu. This is like a question word in the end of the sentence. But not necessarily like that. Sometimes they put the mu in the middle. So this is really confusing for me, but I'm learning. Uh, usually they will say it in the end of the sentence. Like for example, um, what is for the example? Uh, wait, my brain is not working for a minute there. Wait, um, huh? Yokmo, huh? Yokmo. Is there? Ah. Uh, it's too weird to translate into English. Yokmu, is there nothing or no? Is, is there none? Ah, something like that. But sometimes they will put it in the middle. And then uh, there will be another word. For example, um, is it really hurting hurt hurting that bad? Chokmu ariyor. So it's not chok ariyor mu. It's like chokmu. Arior. So I don't know what's the mu doing in the middle. I need to learn some more, but this is what I what I noticed. Um and the last one. So they ha also have this kind of formal, informal level of conversation. Um conversation with their older people, new new people they just met and um for maybe boss or higher level position. So um like for example if you want to say you, in Turkish, it's like translated as sen. You, sen. But for older people or when we are talking with, uh, we, we need some formal conversation, we will do it like sis. Sen, sis. Sen, sis. And for example, if they want to ask, it's like, for example, do you know? Biliyo musun. This is casual. Biliyo musun. But... With uh, the position higher than us or with uh, the older people that we respect so much, uh, we will say, Biliyo musunus. So, uh, from sen biliyo musun, this is casual. Sen biliyo musun, it would become sis biliyo musunus, more formal. So, I need to learn and I learned so much and it is really interesting. Because I never knew this before and I just learned from 
how they talk so drama is definitely helping you out so okay fine so let me know uh what you think about this and if you want to correct me please correct me in my comment box and i will see you in my next videos